Southampton under 21s came out the wrong side of an eight goal thriller at Stamford Bridge on Monday evening. After being 5 0 down, they almost mounted a comeback but couldn't get past three goals as their first half performance haunted them on the final whistle. Martin Hunter handed Sam Gallagher a place in the starting lineup as he continues his recovery from a long term knee injury. Ryan Seeger, who made his Premier League debut just over 24 hours earlier, started in the number 10 role. Chelsea's lineup included Dom Solanke and Tammy Abrahams, who have shared 43 goals between them at under 18 and 21 levels so far this season. Saints almost made a dream start when Ryan Seeger fed through Jake Sinclair on the left hand side, but Mitchell Beeney got out quick and managed to thwart the winger's effort by tipping it onto the crossbar. Minutes later, Sam Gallagher flashed a ball across goal, but it was just out of the reach of Ryan Seeger and cleared by Fankati Dabo. Chelsea's first sniffer goal came from Tammy Abrahams. Winger played this ball across the face of Wilbert's goal, but Dom Solanke couldn't make contact at the back post. It didn't take long for the Blues to net their opener. Casey Palmer from 25 yards drilled the ball into the bottom corner past an outstretched Brit, perhaps undeserved at this point for Chelsea. Abrahams rose highest from this corner to almost double Chelsea's lead, but Britt managed to keep it out. Zaya Brown grabbed Chelsea's second with a bit of luck as the ball took a slight deflection off Bevis Mugabe to wrong foot Britt and end up in the back of the net. Casey Palmer was denied his second when Jason McCarthy slid in as he tried to rally his troops to show some kind of reaction. Unfortunately it proved ineffective as Chelsea added a third. Solanke saw his initial effort saved by Britt, then Will Wood blocked Jay De Silva's shot, but Casey Palmer's finish was impeccably accurate as he struck a volley to see Chelsea sailing through the match. Tammy Abraham snuck through on the right-hand side and produced a cheeky chip over Britt to provide the fourth for the hosts. Saints had the odd chance to reply, but this effort from Sam Gallagher was never doing much damage as Beanie comfortably saved. Jake Hesketh created this opportunity for Southampton by playing through Gallagher. But perhaps a lack of match action affected his sharpness as he lost control and was edged out as the goal gaped in front of him. Corners were causing Saints problems all leaving and their misery was compounded when Jordan Houghton's shot was flicked home by Dom Solanke at the far post. Chelsea went 5 and up. Again it was Gallagher with Saints brightest chances as this delivery from Dom Gabe found his head but the effort was wayward. Eventually Saints reply did come and it wasn't a bad one for the cameras. Ryan Seeger found space on the edge of the box to curl a side footed ball round an acrobatic beanie into the top right hand corner. His 12th of the season. Saints suddenly perked up and almost grabbed a second before half time. Jake Sinclair coming agonisingly close with this half volley on the turn. The second half was a much more rewarding experience for Martin Hunter's men, but threatened to get even worse as Charlie Colquitt hit this free kick narrowly wide. The second did come though. Jake Sinclair provided an excellent ball over the top for substitute Josh Sims, who nicked the ball just past the advancing goalkeeper, and it took a sliding tackle from Jake Hesketh to make sure the ball found the back of the net. Only minutes later and Saints had a third. Jordan Houghton didn't properly deal with Dom Gapes cross and Bevis Mugabe was up from the back and on hand to volley home. The Saints started to look more and more confident to complete the unlikeliest of comebacks. Hesketh tried to force in a fourth to set up an interesting final ten minutes, but Beanie was on hand to stop the midfielder's long range shot. As Chelsea failed to clear a corner, it was Hesketh again leading the charge to get another back, but this effort fell into the side netting. Armani Little had the visitors' final chance of the game, but ultimately Hunter's side ran out of time, and Saints technical director was left frustrated by his side's first half display. this level more than most people out there will have done well he's experienced first team football last year on loan obviously at Swindon later on and uh, you'd expect him to impress him you know, impress the game basically get himself on the ball and, uh, and, and boss it but um, let's see if he can do that a lot of players in and around him then he's gone for the return ball here and he's just 
done enough to allow Reese Mitchell here a chance to get running and shooting, although he didn't really get much on it. It's almost a here for Liverpool, and it's done. He just chips it in. Moreno, he heads it out. Look at the captain go here. Can he keep it in? He can. And if he gets some help, Rosonda might do some damage as well. How's the ball? It's a Kwamia who gets turned. This is promising. Reese Mitchell. Still not cleared. Since he haven't yet made something of what was looking very promising. Maybe now. Casey Palmer was the closest head. Still, it's not out of play. Sonder. Sonder. On the left wing tonight. Positions recently. Swift goes for goal! Oh! And, uh, some of the fans thought that was in. And it wasn't far off being in. Well, I've got to tell you, mate, I think it is in. And I, I have to say, I talked about him posting himself on the game and uh, being the man, and certainly with that strike, he is the man. I mean, it's a great strike. He's hit the underside of the bar, this Ben. Look at it again, he's hit the underside of the bar and gone in. Couldn't actually see it from that angle, but it's a tremendous strike from John Swift. And absolutely nothing on. Decided to give it a smack, and it goes into the top corner. I think the keeper, Andy Firth, no real chance. I mean, he couldn't have expected that. I think he's about six foot three, the kid. And... Tar Alley. Youth team away at Leicester in the morning. One or two involved tonight. If they don't get on, may well do Tremendous. then. That was good from Kevin Wright. Bye bye, Connor Randall. How's the cross? Oh, oh it's a brilliant cross. It's right on to Alex Kiwami's head, and really, that ought to be 2 0. Well, I've got to say, the move there. Obviously, Liverpool, Celtic, Benfica in this one. You've got Everton, Spurs, Porto, and Schalke in Group B. Norwich, Leicester, PSV, and Villarreal in Group C. And Man City, Sunderland, Athletic Bilbao, and Munchen Gladbach, where Andreas Christensen is on loan this season. Oh, a long ball has found its way here to Sinclair, and it's 1 1. Route one, and not very well dealt with, it has to be said, from Chelsea's point of view, oh, and it's 1-1. One, one. That's poor, Ben. I mean, that's a straight ball, literally over the head of uh, Olorena. Thank you, Darbo's not around. To be fair to James Russell, he had no chance. He ended up in no-man's no land, but it's bounced over Ola there, and uh, eventually, thank you, Darbo can't get on it. Sinclair, who's got first-team experience, as you rightly said, um, just finishes it with his left foot. But if you're Andy Myers, uh, and you're coaching this game, you're going to be looking at that back four and saying, what I did we concede that the air and he flicked it towards goal, but uh, straight at the... Swift. We scored against Liverpool in a Youth Cup semi that Jack Dunn was... Uh, I remember how had a big hype around him in the build-up to that. He played at the bridge in that game. John Swift got a goal. The shed end. Nice ball here for Musonda. Tricky feet. Reese Mitchell going to get it. One day he's going to get it. Can help further his cause with good performances when he does get a start. We know he scores great goals, that's fine, and it's brilliant and it's very entertaining, sorry, but it's uh, it needs a bit more as well. He's just Cameron Brannigan go past him there. Do you know, Ben, I just think Case is a little bit of an enigma. I, I think he's one of them players that have got so much ability. Just watch this. There's Randall. This is a good save out of James Russell. Well, again, he's done so, still great fun, Ben. The dressing room, still the dressing room, wherever you play. And uh, we had a we had a real crack here. We had some real good characters. There used to be a puddle, just where John Swift is now. <laughs> Whenever it <laughs> rained, there used to be a great big puddle. That was my excuse when I didn't control the ball. The puddle got in the way. They wouldn't know what a puddle looks like. These boys on a football pitch now, would they? They would not. You wouldn't be people Good doing job. what Charlie Musson was doing Charlie. here. What a great run. And the shot from Casey Palmer is not of his usual standard. From that range, he's normally... And when you have a pitch this good, you can knock it around at the back just like that. Exactly. It does help. At that time, Conroy did misplace the pass. This is done who's looked dangerous in moments here, and he's given Casey Palmer the spin there. And that's a good ball, and it'll oh. be a wonderful goal. It's an absolutely brilliant goal, that, isn't it? From right to left and back in again. Liverpool in front. Sinclair's got another one. Carved open again, Tom. 
Yeah, it is a great goal, Ben, but you'd have to look at the way Dunn got away from everybody. No one's put him under pressure. I made the point earlier, you've got to know your players and you know he's, he's left-footed, you know he's going to go that way. And the ball in from the left-hand side is tremendous. It's a great volley across. And I think Alex O'Hanlon got on the end of it. And look at his focus there. He just plays it across the box. And Sinclair at the far post, as all good strikers do, it's just a simple tap in. It was a good move, Ben. And I said the ball from O'Hanlon was, was special. You've got to put more pressure on Sharon Dunn there. He can't get away with just keeping the ball and playing it on his team. But I'll be hearing from Jose Mourinho at half time in this game. Forward by Mukhtar Ali. He's been a little bit bypassed, I think, so far in this first half. Now John Swift, Kiwomia, back to Swift, goes for something delicate. Oh. This one is onto the roof of the net. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but again, it's, it's back to Firth, his keeper. He's not really had any real saves to make, has he, Andy no. Firth? I'm just trying to think. Possibly, well, possibly none. I know he's been beaten by the goal, obviously, that's a great shot. Really been saving shots. You haven't it? seen him flying across his box every year, as you say, scrambling and doing all sorts. I mean, he had no chance with the goal from John Swift, but uh, he needs to be put under more pressure. Maybe here. On, Casey. Casey Palmer, look at the burst. Oh, he's done it. There's Casey Palmer. Well, I'll re rest my case, Your Honour. I've got to tell you, this boy has got so much ability, but sometimes he just needs a rocket up his backside, and I'm sure Andy's given him that at half-time, because he's come out in this second half and really pro progressive in that final third. He's committed defenders, great pace. He had no right to get on near this ball. He's just flicked it past the defender, shown great pace, great desire, and that's a quality finish. Under pressure, two defenders around him. He slid it into the far post, and this is what this boy can do week in, week out. See you later, Corey Whelan. Casey Palmer's just got the end of his own pass there. <laughs> he gets an assist and a goal. There's a stat for Tell you. Me he's warming up on, on this left-hand side, and you'd think he'd be involved at some stage. If Chelsea won a winning goal, no, no one better within the, in the club to, to get that. Olerena's pass has found Charlie Musonda here. Trick. Little flick for Palmer. Swift, someone hit it. Kiwomia, and now Liverpool are all back. Swift with the dinky, great oh. chance, yes, Casey Palmer again. Liverpool look for a flag, it has not come, and Casey Palmer showing you what he's all about tonight. A very quiet first half and an explosive second. Yeah, tremendous, John Swift picks him out, it's a great ball. Initially I was screaming for John to have a strike, but he looks up here, gets the ball out of his feet, lovely little dink to the far stick. I have to say, Dan Cleary's having a real, real go at his fellow centre-half, Tom Brewitt there. Thinks he should get tighter, thinks he should get more personal and make contact, but he doesn't. There's an ocean of space in there, and it's a quality header. I'll tell you what, look at the time John Swift had as well. A little touch, have a look, a little dink over the top. We've seen tonight some... Out. Don't rule out the shot. He'll probably try and find someone on the far post. Maybe not. There's a deflection on it! Oh, he's got the hat-trick! He's flicked off the wall. And his extraordinary second half continues. Whatever next, Chelsea 4, Liverpool 2. Well, I have to say, the strike was obviously deliberate, but the deflection wasn't, and uh, the wall hasn't done its job. And I don't even know why you'd want a wall out that far out, but it's, hit, uh, it's caught the edge of uh, the number six there, who is uh, Chirivala. It's caught Chirivala on, on, the, on the arm. He wasn't very brave there, I have to say. He's turned his body, and uh, the keeper there is fuming with him. Well, 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 so it was a million to one. To have another string to your butt. 41 goals last season. He got two and two to start this. Dinked into the mix. Oh, goodness me, wouldn't that have been a bit incredible? Ten seconds and in. Welcome to the game, Sammy, yeah. But, um, starting in prolific fashion, just the way he finished last season. The thing is, he'll be able to be more of the main man with yeah. Dom Solanke on loan and Izzy Brown for that matter as yeah. you mentioned Tom that's exactly what I was just going to say Ben he's going to be the man this year he's going to be the focal point and the man who, who gets all the chances so uh, as I'm sure he's going to add to that tally yes, he won't be playing a lot of youth team football this is Magic Gomez oh. and that's a good stop angled shot looked like it was heading in James Russell job done well it's a good stop and a very important some sort of record he's uh, still 17 Casey um, Tammy he'll be 18 at the start of next month. It'd be a big boy when he grows up, won't he? Yeah, indeed. Oh, dear, dear, dear. 
minutes. You can expect DK Ugbo to start most of the youth team games on the weekend now. Tammy in the middle. Oh, a foul. Uh, there's a foul. Musonda shot is saved by Firth anyway, and the whistle had gone. That's from Swift, I think. Yeah, it was really good challenges in the last sort of five minutes, and on that occasion there was a shot from uh, the informed striker there, and uh, I think that uh, he got his head in the way, and um, otherwise it's Sinclair could have been on his act. Whelan back for Brannigan, and now O'Hanlon. Brannigan again into Gomez and back again. This has been neatly worked, this. And the pass Great is then. a good one, and Virtue! Oh, goodness me! James Russell, huge sigh of relief, back off the woodwork, and you can smile now. Well. touch from Jossie Mark. I'll tell you one thing I like about him already, he's got black boots on. <laughs> Here's Sinclair. Well, rarity that is nowadays. Sorry to sound like an old fogey. This is Randall. Liverpool did nick one here. It'll be a nervy last few. Liverpool's throw. under pressure oh, and that was good closing down that from John Swift now this is Musonda Charlie Musonda Tammy Abraham well that was his moment it still might be here for John Swift oh could be five to two very easily and somehow it is well it's pinball wizard but I've got to say Charlie Musonda from... what a topsy-turvy game it's been stunning opener from John Swift quick fire double from Jerome Sinclair and Liverpool look much the better side but what a second half turnaround. Mostly thanks to Casey Palmer, who scored a, a hat trick in 20 minutes here. To complete turning it on its head once more. Jerome Sinclair thought he might end up with a hat trick ball and a win. He gets neither. Casey Palmer gets both. A typical night from his point of view. Missing for large chunks and then absolutely brilliant. Well done, Casey Palmer. Well done, Chelsea. Full time score at Aldershot. 4 2 to the Blues.